The town of Chateau on the outskirts of Paris was the venue for the final stage of the 108th Tour de France. Champions past, present and about to be crowned alongside green jersey wearers looking to confirm that prize lined up at the start. 108 kilometres on the clock then to be ridden at processional pace until reaching Paris and once in the French capital the now usual eight laps of the Champs-Élysées and an expected sprint to decide the final stage. And the day began with the usual celebrations. The yellow jersey team, a special kit. Tadej Pogacar about to win his second Tour de France, all backed up by his UAE Emirates teammates. Jonas Vingegaard was there, ready to finish in second place. Andre Greipel shaking the hands of rivals as he rode his last ever Tour stage having announced 24 hours previous that he would retire from the sport at the end of the year. The Eiffel Tower, the French capital for one last time for him then. And as the peloton hit the final 50 k's or so of the race, they reach the Champs-Élysées and its famous finish line for the first time. No sooner had the yellow jersey crossed and acclaim the crowds, we had the first attack. Jonas Rutsch going up the road, quickly a group of 13 getting away, that turned into four and that will be the first of a couple of breakaway groups. The maximum gap they get will be about 30 seconds. Bissiger would then be away. A couple of riders coming with him. And at the intermediate sprints, Mark Cavendish looking very, very good. Not quite mathematically confirming his green jersey win, but the big favourite now it's Michael Matthews. The French colours were omnipresent. The attackers were trying to get away. The Koenig Quickstep, the team that everybody was leaning on to try and control things. Another trio went away. They get around 20 seconds. And Israel Startup Nation would contribute to make sure we'd have a sprint. Well, onto the final lap, it would all be brought back together. The last chance for attacks didn't really work out. And the Koenig Quickstep took control as the riders raced to the underpass for the final time. Wild van Aert will be there alongside Mark Cavendish, Jasper Phillips as well. And inside the final kilometre, Cavendish seemed to lose his lead-out man. Miguel Mercau, a couple of places off to the right-hand side. Mike Turnis are doing a great job for Wild van Aert. Phillips are waiting on his wheel. Cavendish in the green. Kripal was there as well. But once Wild van Aert hit the front, Cavendish would be boxed in and nobody would be able to come around. No 35th record-breaking win for Mark Cavendish. He would take the green jersey. Wout van Aert, though, still in the headlines. And what a hat-trick. The Belgian champion proving himself to be one of the men of the Tour. A mountain stage on Ventoux. A time trial 24 hours before this. And a win on the famous Champs-Élysées. His team's fourth stage win of the race. His third... And Jumbo Visma, despite losing Primoz Roglic and finishing with four, having a great tour. UA Emirates, absolutely exceptional. Tadej Pogacar defending his title as the stage winner with little Mr. Fanart celebrated on the Champs-Élysées. Fanart beating Philips, Cavendish, Mezgetz and Greipel. Cavendish taking the green jersey, Fanart winning the stage. And the final podium with Carapaz, the first ever man from Ecuador in third. Vingegaard, the first Dane in 25 years up there. And yet again, for the second year in succession, Tadej Pogacar winning the Tour de France. Five minutes 20, his margin of victory. Richard Carapaz at 7.03 down with O'Connor finishing fourth. A superb way to make your debut. And Wilco Kelderman achieving a top five. As mentioned, Cavendish took a green jersey. First for 10 years. Cavendish alongside Tadej Pogacar, who also took the King of the Mountains prize and a white jersey. Franck Bonamour of France, on his tour debut, took the most aggressive rider prize. And Bahrain victorious, the best team award. And on an evening on the sport's most famous avenue, 
The sun sets on the 108th Tour de France to much national fanfare, but international recognition for the show put on over three weeks from Brittany to Paris. What a Tour de France.